What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yes, we defeated our girlfriend Flannery. Yeah, we defeated her for another badge. And the other cool thing about this is that, hey, we finally evolved Swamp Lord into his final form, yes, to Swampert. That's right, guys, he looks so majestic, looks so freaking cool, look at that. Look at those flaps and stuff. He looks like a beast in the, in the making. Anywho... After that, our other girlfriend, May, gave us the Go Goggles right here. And it enables us it enables us to actually go straight to the desert near Route 111. Now, we got one or two things, or two choices to actually go off of. We can either go straight back to Petalburg and battle our dad for our fifth badge, just like that. Or we can go to the desert at Route 111. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm actually going to, you know, postpone that whole uh, gym thing. I'm actually going to go straight to the desert and see what's all what, what that whole place is all about because I know for a fact that after defeating after uh, de well after defeating the gym you know we can actually yeah after defeating the gym over at my dad's we we have to surf everywhere so we might forget about this whole place right here now one good thing about this place one change about you know the, the desert right here is that eventually you'll be able to see a tower right here a mirage tower I would like to say and it will actually hold a, it will actually hold a, you know, your fossil, a future fossil that you might get. So, what we're going to do right now is we're actually just going to be battling a whole bunch of people, trying to evolve our other Pokemon that we have. And the other thing that you can actually find here too is Trampitches. You know, these Pokemon right here. Pretty cool Pokemon. Now, a bit of a, bit of a negative right here. Yes, Sandstorm is raging. You will get hit if you don't have a ground type Pokemon. So what we're going to do right now is actually I'm going to switch to Gaia. And uh, you know what, I'm going to use a Repel because I don't want to mess with any other Pokemon right here. Now, this again, this is one of the reasons to why I, uh, I went with a Skarmory instead of any of the Dragon type Pokemon because, hold on just a sec, there should be a tower made of sand around here somewhere, but for some reason it cannot be seen sometimes, sometimes and sometimes not. That is why I call, I call it the Mirage Tower. Like I said, yeah. But like I was saying, guys, this is probably the main reason to why I I chose Skarmory over the two or three uh, Dragon-type Pokemon that you can actually find in this place. You know, Altaria, uh, Flygon, or Salamence. Uh, I've already used a buttload of Dragon-type Pokemon when I was Draven XC711. I kind of wanted to change it up right here because, you know... Always, always with the dragon type. Always with the dragon type. And when, with the dragon type, it's always easy to win a battle or win a, a whole game. So I went with Skarmory, the legal way. Trying to make it up, you know, for my old Pokemon Crystal Walker. So here we go, battling our first person. Wearing these gold goggles makes me feel like a superhero. Right now, nobody can beat me. You shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have said that, brother. So here we go, battling Camper Boo. And he's coming out with his bull toy. It is a ground and uh, psychic type Pokemon. Very good Pokemon you can actually find around here too. Alrighty, let's go. Um, I guess psychic attack. I mean, it's probably not the best attack to go off of against this guy, but oh god. Okay, so yeah, we're probably gonna have to like switch it up. Guy is probably not the best choice right now against a ball toy, and not only that, we got the elements against us, the sandstorm. And, uh, oh god, I hate that sandstorm. You have to have a ground, a ground type Pokemon, water, or not, ground type, rock type, and steel type Pokemon in order for the, uh, in order for the sandstorm not to, uh, to affect you or any, in any, any, in any way. And here we go with another sandstorm. And, uh, that sandstorm is just annoying. Come on! And, yep, there's that rock tomb. Come on. More speed lowered. Here we go, Psychic Attack. And there goes Baltoy. Doesn't feel so good anymore, huh? No, it doesn't. And uh, he's coming out with a Sand Shrew, so I gotta go straight to another Pokemon right here. Let's go with Shroomly. Let's do this. The Pokemon that will be able to get us the heck out of here. And uh, look at that, Sand Shrew looking like a beast, and everybody's gonna get, well, I'm gonna get hit with a, with a Sandstorm right here. That's pretty lame. So let's go with a Mega Drain. Oh, yes. And there goes Sandshrew. No more Sandshrew. Bye-bye, Sandshrew. I'll 
Alrighty, alrighty. So this is probably a good place to actually use Shroom Lee. Now, this could work against us if we don't use the right... If we... Well, if it doesn't go our way right here. Alrighty. Alrighty, so... There's a dust storm. Or sandstorm. And here we go with the Mega Drain. Let's do that. Oh, super effective, but Baltoy survives right here. And, uh... Well, there's that rapid spin right there. Seriously thought it was going to use a psychic type of moon. Ah, oh, jeez, okay. Buffed by the sandstorm yet again. But I'm going to go with the mock punch just to finish you off right here. Fatality. Not much of a fatality, but there it is. And, uh, well, defeated Camper Bo. Can't win by spirit alone, which is hilarious. Alright, let's move on right here. Who else do we have to beat? We've already been up there in like a few episodes ago, so let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. He's like, oh, hey, those go goals suit you, but I think they look better on me. Let's decide who they look better on with the, with a battle. I guess. I don't know. Whoo, this guy is about to lose. He's coming out with his Sandshrew right here. Oh, God. And Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. About to go Gaia on his ass. Damn you, Sandshrews. Majestic ass Pokemon. Okay, so Psychic Attack. There we go. And there goes Sandshrew. No more Sandshrew. There we go. He's like, I couldn't see what was happening at my side. So, oh, wow. You're an idiot. You really are. Now, if you're playing Pokemon... If you're playing Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, this is this is actually the location where you normally find the the fossils. But this is Pokemon Emerald. Like I said, you have to wait for the Mirage uh, Tower to appear in order to actually get those fossils. I'm having a picnic in the, in the desert. You can always find a trainer, so I can uh, enjoy battle here too. Alrighty. Okay, let's go. Here we have Picnicker Heidi, and she's gonna come out with her Sandshrew. It, it, it seems Sandshrew seems to be a popular Pokemon around here. Jeez. Okay. All right, let's do this. Gaia traced them. Let's go. Psychic attack. Now I probably should have kept that confusion attack because I'm wasting too many psychic attacks here. And uh, coming out with the Bull Toy, so I'm gonna switch him up, and I'm gonna go back to Swamp Lord. And luckily, it's a ground-type Pokemon, so it won't be affected by this whole uh, sand sandstorm kind of deal. And uh, here we go with uh, Baltoy. That sandstorm rages. The sandstorm rages and uh, nothing. Nothing at all. So here we go with the water gun attack. There we go. Bye-bye, Baltoy. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it right there. Swamp Lord's looking like a beast right now. He's looking like a beast. Alright, so that's another guy right down. And, uh, I guess we got... No, wait. What does this guy say? Oh, we already talked to this guy. He's talking about the Mirage Tower that usually appears around this area right here. And, uh, okay. I gotta heal my Pokemon first. Let's see. Let's use those potions. Potent potions. Do it again. That's right. Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, battle this guy first. I want to battle him. Bring it on. For 30 years I have searched for ancient ruins. I am to be challenged? Hmm, really? Alrighty. He is to be challenged. So, here we go again. Let's bring it on and here we go with Dusty. And he's coming out with this Sand Slash right here. I gotta defeat him pretty quickly right now. Okay, okay. Alrighty, Sam Veal or Sam Vale, and I'm gonna use a Calm Mind right here. I'm gonna be strategic right here. Just upping the special attack and defense. And what is this guy going for a dig right here? Okay. So I can do this. Well, I can get hit by a Sandstorm again. Or I can use a double team. Oh, crud. Prematurely picked the, the, the other move right here. And, uh, well, I'm gonna get hit right now with the dig attack. And that takes a nice amount of uh, HP up right there. Ugh. Alright, so here we go. Psychic attack. Super power. Super powered. And there goes Sand Slash. Look at that. So easily. And look at that. Gaia grows to level 29. Simple as that. <laughs> he hasn't found any kind of strong Pokemon right here. Now, if you talk to him, he's like, I haven't 
It's like, I haven't been searching for any tough Pokemon, but for some reason, I sure do like Pokenavs. I... Okay, all right, whatever. Whatever you say, bro. Okay, so we got more Pokemon trainers right here, so this is gonna be quite a adventure. It's like, if you talk to her, she's like, I heard uh, there are fossils to be found in the desert. Where could they be? They're somewhere. I'm looking for fossils, too. So here we go. Picnicker Becky, and she's coming out with a sand true. Good God. People, switch it up with the sand trues. Okay. Alrighty. I got this. Psychic attack. Again, I'm a little... I'm, I'm kind of regretting not, not having confusion here, too, because, you know, that could have been an extra attack right there. And coming out with a Meryl. Alrighty, finally a Pokemon that I can use Raiden with. Wow. Alrighty. Let's go. Bring it on. Bring it on, Meryl. Meryl Streep. Meryl this. And yes, I'm going to get hit with the Sandstorm. And so is Meryl. Look at that. Meryl's going to get hit. Finally, another Pokemon gets hit with the Sandstorm. All right, let's go with the Shockwave right here. And there we go. Get it. Goodbye. There we go. And, uh, wow, Raiden nearly grows another level right there, which kind of pisses me off a little. Okay, so now, okay, I gotta heal my, I gotta heal my Pokemon yet again. So let's go right here. And get that. And, uh, huh. So let's see, let's see. Is, are there hidden items right here? No. No hidden items right here. And, uh, our Repel has worn off, so we gotta get another Repel right here. Let's go for that uh, Super Repel right here again. Okay, so we already battled you two. Oh, wow. Double battle either way you look at it. So let's... Hmm. Let's see. Uh... I, I, okay, whatever. I'm just going to battle with these two guys. Okay, so battle these two guys right here. This guy's like, how tough are you? We shall expose that secret. And... I shouldn't have come to a place like this for a picnic. Alrighty, okay. Why are there picnickers out here? I just want to know that. And here we go, another battle with Sandshrew and Meryl, which is good. Good, good stuff. I just gotta beat these Pokemon quickly right here. Okay, okay. So the Sandstorm is raging, and the only Pokemon that's not gonna be affected by this is Sandshrew. Lucky bastard. Okay, let's go. Psychic Spark Attack. There we go, Raiden. Come on, finish her. There we go. There we go. How about that? How about that? Not a lot of experience points, but it's still something. And, uh, wow, a Lombre. Okay. And uh, Gaia nearly running out on these psychic attacks, but manages to defeat Sandshrew right here. And, uh, okay, so we got another Pokemon, and wow, he's got Sand Slash. He's got Sand Slash. Oh, crud. And we're gonna get hurt right now. Okay. Okay. I can do this. I'm an adult. Actually, you know what? Let's go with a Calm Mind. And let's go with a Quick Attack. I know that, that like, I want to evolve both of these Pokemon right here. I really do. It's just... <laughs> it's gonna take me a while. And, you know, we have the perfect chance right here against two evolved Pokemon right here. Okay, come on. Raise your defense and oh crud, nature power. Oh crud, no! Oh man. That's gonna hurt. How did Sand Slash avoid that? Oh jeez, okay, so we better beat that Lombre real quickly or else we're gonna we're gonna die. We are going to die. And uh, oh crud, okay, so Lombre is the dangerous one. So let's go with that psychic attack on them. And let's use a little something. Let's use this, Super Potion. That way you won't faint. I'm trying to evolve these Pokemon. This is my mission, guys. I want to get ready against uh, against the fifth gym leader right here. And Lombre, eat it. Goodbye. And look at that. Raiden grows to level 26. And more defense curls for this guy. Which is also good, I guess. Alrighty. Bring it on. Bring it. And, uh, of course, we're getting buffed by a lot of uh, sandstorms right here. And 
I'm gonna go with the quick attack for this guy right here because I guess quick attack's gonna work. Here we go, psychic attack, power up, and there goes Sand Slash. That's right. And uh, yeah, Gaia does not grow a level, but it's about to. Yeah, it's shrouded in mystery right here. That's right. And would you look at that, guys? Raiden is finally evolving into another Pokemon right here. You know, a very, very cool, majestic Pokemon that we saw a few episodes ago against Watson. Look at that. It's Conehead. Looks like a lion, but really it's a wolf. You know, that kind of Pokemon. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So we finally got ourselves a main neck trick right here. Very, very powerful uh, electric type Pokemon. And uh, let's go ahead and check them out. Let's go ahead and check out Raiden right here. So we got Main Nectric, the electric type Pokemon. Its ability is Lightning Rod. I know many of you guys are questioning that, hey, didn't you get a Electric that had a, the static effect? Did switch them out for male uh, Main Nectric right here. And as you can see, its speed, pretty good. Special attack is very, very good. And everything else is just, you know, it is what it is. Now, if, it were, if I were to take it to a contest, it would be in the cool contest right there. Now, let's go ahead and check out Gaia, because I feel like Gaia is close. Very, very close. And, oh, it is close. So, I need to restore that psychic attack. Luckily, we have an ether right here. And, uh, yes, it's been restored. So, from here on, we're going to be using Gaia and finally evolve in another Pokemon, so bring it on. Just bring it. I'll give you some of my sandwich if you lose. That's not much of a deal. What the hell, man? I want a sandwich. So there we go. Camper Brandon wants the battle, and he's coming out with his Talo. Man, I should have used I should have used Mainetric right here. It seems like a logical choice right here. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's go. Psychic attack, and before we could even hit, no, this guy goes with the wing attack, so here we go, psychic attack. Oh, yeah. That's right. Don't like us, and uh, coming out with the Nuzleaf right here. Hmm. Huh. Not much of a Pokemon right now. Is it a... Oh, crud. If it's a Dark-type Pokemon right now, I'm going to be really angry. I will be angry. So angry, I'm going to curse everybody out. So here we go, psychic attack. And, oh crud, it is a psychic type Pokemon. And there's that earthquake attack that we've been dreading. Oh crud, oh crud! No! And, uh, oh crud. Okay, so that, that is the end of Gaia right there. And, uh, oh, never mind! Survived. One HP. So, I'm gonna switch him out right here. I'm gonna go straight to Skyblade right here. Been a while, Skyblade. And you won't be affected by any of these sandstorm uh, thing, thingy madigers right here. Go ahead, use your growth attack. I don't care. You won't affect me. You won't beat me. And look at that. It won't affect me, which is awesome. So there we go, peck attack. And there goes Nuzleaf. Ah, uh, yes. Skyblade, what would I do without you? What would I do without you, Skyblade? And uh, he's like... I thought I, I thought a sandwich would be enough to of a bribe. Seriously? Really? Jesus. That says a lot about you as a Pokemon trainer. It really does. Okay, so let's use this two more and uh, let's go let's go ahead and find more trainers right here. Now, as you can see, there's six stones right here. And uh it's gathered around this one big old stone right here, and of course, it will lead us to a, a much more bigger adventure eventually after our game is done, or during our game. I don't even know. I don't even care, but I'm dreading that moment when I have to do it. And now, if you go right here, you'll actually find the TM-37, which is Sandstorm, a very annoying move for any kind of ground-type Pokemon on to normal-type Pokemon right here. So, I guess that's pretty much it right here for the, uh, the desert. I was kind of hoping that the... The tower was right, right here somewhere, but we'll eventually find it someday, guys. So stay tuned, guys. In the next adventure, we will be taking on our father at Petalburg City, and uh, we will be getting our fifth badge right here. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.